Hello everyone. Welcome to my podcast. I am Becky and I can be found as Becky Burns Gibson on Pinterest, Instagram, and Ravelry. Today I'll be showing you how to make a scarf similar to this one using the elongated knit stitch. As you can see, this is a very trendy scarf. And uh, I knitted it on straight knitting needles and I seamed it together at the back of the neck. And then I made these cute tassels to hang off of it. So today we'll be using hand spun yarn again. I'll show you how to do a long tail cast on and how to knit using the elongated knit stitch. So let's go. So I will be using a center pull ball of hand spun yarn to demonstrate. And I will be using a set of size 10 boy straight knitting needles. And first I'm going to demonstrate the long tail cast on. So with one of your knitting needles, make yourself a long tail. Then create a slip knot and put it on your knitting needle. So I'm going to do that again. Wrap the yarn around your fingers, then bring a loop underneath and then put that on your knitting needle. So I'll show you that one more time. Okay, so that's how you get the yarn on your knitting needle to start out with. So to make a long tail cast on, you're going to grab your yarn with your hand, take your thumb and your index finger and insert it between your yarn and then widen your fingers and then pick them up. Okay, so let me show you that again. Grasp the yarn in your hand. Take your thumb and index finger, run it between the pieces of yarn, widen, and then up. And you see you've got yourself a, a nice V there. So on this side of the thumb, we're going to insert our knitting, knitting needle underneath the yarn. And then we're going to come over and insert the knitting needle around this piece of yarn. Okay, let me do that again. Under, over, through, and tighten it up. Under, over, through, and tighten it up. Under, over, through, and tighten it up. So I'm going to fill this uh, knitting needle uh, with a few stitches, but I'm not going to fill it all the way because this is just for demonstration purposes. Okay, so I have enough on there to show you how to do it. Okay, so uh, transfer your knitting needle from your right hand to your left. So you have your active stitches on your left needle. And just make sure that you don't uh, try to knit with your tail. You want to knit with your piece of yarn that's attached to your center pull ball. Okay, hold that yarn in your left hand. Hold your knitting needle in your left hand. Grab your empty knitting needle. Now I'm going to show you how to do uh, a simple, uh, a basic knit stitch because I want to show, show you how that differs from the elongated knit stitch. So to do a basic knit stitch, you insert your needle from front to back through the stitch. Okay? So you have your needles like this. You're going to 
take your yarn, wrap it around your back knitting needle. Then bring your right needle to the front and then off. And that's how you do a basic knit stitch. Again, insert your needle into your loop of yarn from front to back. Wrap your yarn around your back needle. Bring your right needle forward through your stitch and off. Okay, so that's a basic knit stitch, but we're not going to be doing that. We're going to be doing an elongated knit stitch. So I'm going to get rid of those. And I'm going to get ready to show you the elongated knit stitch. Okay, so I'm going to take my uh, the knitting needle that's in my right hand, insert it into the stitch from front to back, and I'm going to wrap this yarn around both needles and then around the back needle. And then there's going to be two uh, pieces of yarn here. That's the same stitch. And I'm going to bring my right needle underneath and off. Okay, so let's do that again. Insert needle. Wrap yarn around both needles. Wrap yarn around back needle. Bring your right needle up front and underneath and off. This should be really easy. As I stated earlier, this was the very first uh, knitting stitch that I ever did, even before I did the basic knit stitch. So, it results in a very airy, open knit stitch. So I'm going to do the second row. So transfer your work to your left hand. Again, insert the right needle through the loop front to back, wrap it around both, and wrap it around the back. This is a good way to use hand spun yarn because the gauge on hand spun yarn is not always consistent. And this can be a really pretty way to showcase hand spun yarn. But of course you can do the elongated knit stitch with any kind of yarn. OK, 
Okay, one last time. So this is going to make a very, very nice scarf. Very nice and airy. Well, thank you for joining me for another video. If you like what you've seen today, please click the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, please click subscribe. And until next time, bye-bye.